Well, hey guys, welcome back. Now, I'm gonna do a little disclaimer on this video. I don't tend to get too much into politics on this channel. It is one of the topics we cover, but there's been a lot more uh, entertainment related news the last few months to really worry about. But we did just have the debates and I don't think I need to, you know, hash it over any more than anybody else already has. It was not good for Biden. You could even say that Trump didn't look the best he ever has. But it was clear to anybody who has been living in a bubble for the last four, five, six years, Biden did not perform well. He froze, he looked completely incoherent, he looked like he was catatonic half the time. The responses he gave were stuttering, rambling, just complete hodgepodge messes. And unfortunately, this is the leader of our current free world, as it is. So that being said, there have been some moments that have gone viral from it, one little short that I made where it was clear that somebody broke wind during the debate. Um, and now we have apparently Trump giving a brutally candid assessment of Biden and Harris after the debate to disaster. And of course it was from a leaked golf course video. Now, ironically, uh, today it's pretty much been confirmed, although I, I'm still holding out hope to say that maybe it's not true, that it seems like Kamala is presumptively going to be the person going forward. I know there's a lot of people who are speculating. There's a lot of information being thrown around out there. Joe Biden supposedly still going. He's he's committed to stick with it. He's in it to win it. I don't know how that's possible. Anybody who can look at him for more than five seconds can see clearly that he needs to be in a home. But, you know, there's still speculation that Kamala's going to step in, or who knows, it could be Michelle Obama. I mean, God only knows how this year's going to end up. To be fair, this is like 10 times more chaotic than 2020 was, just minus the global pandemic as it was. So the article here from the New York Times, oh, sorry, not New York Times, I hate to do that to you there, New York Post says, former President Donald Trump referred to President Biden as a broken down pile of crap in a leaked video where the Republican White House hopeful suggests his 2024 opponent will soon drop out of the race. The video clip obtained by the Daily Beast shows the 78-year-old presumptive GOP presidential nominee sitting in a golf court with his son Baron Trump riding a shotgun as he critiques the 81-year-old president and offers his analysis of the state of the race. Now, what I will say is, is very ironic. This is one of the situations where I think the Daily Beast released this thinking it was going to hurt Trump. They always do this. They release these things going, oh, now we got him. We got this you know, leaked tape here. And he he sounds like, you know, this big old meanie and mean tweets and all that. And I don't think it hurts his chances one bit. So it says the footage starts with Trump while holding a wad of cash, asking a group of individuals off camera. How did I do with the debate the other night? Um, the crowd praised the former president's performance before Trump went off on Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. He just quit. You know, he's quitting the race. Trump continued. I got him out. And that means we have Kamala. I think she's going to be better, the former president argued, before launching his attack on the 59-year-old Veep. She's so bad, she's pathetic, she's so effing bad. <laughs> well, I think we... I mean, let's be fair, guys. Who doesn't think Kamala sucks? Trump then turned his attention back to the president. Can you imagine that guy dealing with Russian President Vladimir Putin? And the president of China, who's a fierce person, he's a fierce man, very tough guy. They just announced he's probably quitting, just keep knocking him out, huh? Uh, it's unclear which golf course the video was shot at, and it's clearly not a deep fake. I mean... I know that there's some pretty convincing AI out there, but it's very obviously him. So now we have the actual video where we can watch it, and hopefully this is high enough quality for you guys. It's again from like someone's hidden camera in their pocket or something. It looks very much like they're trying not to be noticed by Trump, but we're just gonna hit play and hopefully you guys can hear this. You gave me so much. How did I do with the debate the other night? Oh, yeah. oh amazing. Keep that old broken down pile of crap. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad guy. He just quit, you know, he's quitting the rest. Is that right? Yep, I got him out of the rest. And that means we have Kamala. Oh. I think she's gonna be better. She's so bad. She's so <laughs> pathetic. It's so amazing. It's just so fucking bad, so. I just can't imagine. But that. can you imagine that guy with oh, dealing God. with Putin and the president of China, who's a fierce person, he's a fierce man, a very tough guy, and they see him, they probably, they can't, but it, it, they just announced he's, he's probably quitting. And this isn't even the best part. I mean, honestly, they release these videos thinking it's going to hurt his chances, it's going to make him look bad, and it just makes him look even more... Uh, resolute and more like the way he's been for the last six seven years it's like look this is the guy he is he's gonna be this way until he's not anymore and at that point he'll probably look closer to sleepy joe let's just be honest about that but the best part is that apparently the biden campaign has responded to donald trump's comments about kamala 
And it, according to ALX, he says it reads like it was written by someone who fell out of a coconut tree. Ironically, quoting Kamala Harris there because she talked about the whole coconut tree thing. I remember seeing that quote and I wanted to double check because it's apparently this statement is from the Biden-Harris spokesperson, Serafina Chitika, which I could not believe is a real name. But this is actually apparently her account right here. And it's been confirmed this is the official Biden campaign response to Trump calling Kamala Harris so effing bad. Now, you guys are going to love this. Just this is their statement. No, Donald, what is bad is taking away women's rights. What is bad is losing an election, and encouraging a violent mob to attack the Capitol. What is bad is assaulting women. What is bad is not paying your taxes. What is bad is rooting for our economy to fail. What is bad is telling people to inject bleach. I mean, so far, there's at least three or four of these where oh my god there are there are just so many layers to this um what is bad is telling people oh, sorry what is bad is praising neo-nazis what is bad is separating families again the fine people hoax which again has been disproven numerous times separating families that was a policy that was instituted by barack obama you can look it up at the border the the kids in cages did not begin under trump what is bad is your jobs record, the worst in modern history? What is bad is committing 34 felonies? No, what's bad is being a former president and being charged with 34 felonies. That's the difference. What is bad is cutting Social Security and Medicare? What is bad are your abortion bans? Again, Supreme Court, not Trump. What is bad is calling for the termination of the Constitution? I'm sorry, did AOC not just say that she was going to impeach the Supreme Court or somebody after they have been making these rulings? Like, is nobody paying attention to what's actually going on? What is bad is wanting to make yourself a dictator on day one. What is bad is your constant lying. What is bad is your golf game. Okay, that's just cruel. What is bad is your bankruptcies. Uh, what is bad is selling out Americans to your rich donors. What is bad is denying climate change. No, denying climate change is just funny. I'm sorry. What is bad is your Project 2025 agenda. And what is bad is running on a platform of your revenge and retribution ahead of what is best for our country. Thanks for letting that us clear that up for you. I mean, my God, you you respond to a 30 second clip with something that just makes you seem like an unhinged lunatic. And you wonder why people are over Joe Biden. And you don't even have to like Trump. Like, look, guys, when I voted for him back in 2016, I was not fond of him. I didn't think he was great. I was voting against Hillary. When I voted for him in 2020, I was 100 percent voting for the man. Um. And even if I'm not thrilled with what Trump did in his first term, as far as the, the, the promises that didn't get kept, not pardoning Julian Assange when he had the chance, several things like that. The reality is, I don't think anybody short of maybe those who are just living in a bubble, not paying attention to what's going on around them in the outside world, not realizing the situation that we're in where we have a catatonic, uh, senile old, you know... <sighs> I don't want to be mean. I, I don't like Biden, but I don't, I don't want to be disrespectful. But the guy is not there. We've all known it for a long time. The media is finally waking up to it. And this is the best defense they have is to attack Trump for being mean. I mean, come on. Either way, guys, let me know what you think about all this. I find this freaking hilarious. I think it's just pathetic that this is the best that they got. But let me know what you think in the comments down below and we will catch you later. All right, and if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for being here. I do have two channels, Minimal Effort Podcast, as well as my gaming channel. I do have a Twitch and Kick for my gaming channel. We do live streams over there occasionally, maybe once a week. And then if you are in the market for a new PC, make sure to check out Meta PCs. Click the link I have down below. Use code TEBO at checkout for a special discount. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.